Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having an incredible day. Now today this is an update on the Rib Sally Dopsis Rosea that I rescued probably about three months ago now. And um, this was the original plant here. And it was gifted to me as a rescue by, by my lovely friend Jenny at my horticultural college here in Belfast. And she'd been given this plant from her daughter. She'd had it for many years and it was in a very sorrowful state. It was extremely dehydrated, all limp and literally on death's door. So she said to me, Lynn, I don't really know much about cacti. She said, can you look after it? Can you have it for me? Can you take it? Take it off my hands. And of course I was like, yeah, fantastic. And you know, I love rescuing plants. And this plant's got a lot of history. So I took it home and I made a video the night I actually bought this plant home. And links up above to that video now. I'll also put the links down below because I want you to see the before and after of how this plant looks now. It's, it's absolutely brilliant how it's all making a recovery. <clears throat> and uh, do watch that video if you haven't seen that video already. And... Um, I have to say, very pleased with, with how it's all looking now. Now, what I did, I started to spray it with rainwater and um, to hydrate, it started to hydrate itself because it was very dehydrated. And um, I also put some crystals around the plant because I, I do crystal healing as well and I also do Reiki, I'm a holistic therapist. So, and I use that also on my plants. That's also, I do it on my plants too. And it does help guys. I love to use crystals and healing. And I know a lot of you may laugh, but I swear it works. And it, the plant really did pick up. And now also I got the plant out of the pot. I want to see what it's doing with the roots. And what I decided to do in the end is because a lot of the, the very base of this plant, as you can see there, was actually very, very sort of, well, it was in very bad condition. I love woodiness on plants, but this was literally sort of rotting away. So I took a load of cuttings. I was very brave, just upright. I'm just going to take a ton of cuttings. <coughs> this is the original part of the plant I actually left because this had a good part of the root system on it. And as you can see, it's been flowering. And it is flowering. In fact, that's a, a new flower that just opened up a couple of days ago. Very happy to see that flowering. And even the other se stem segments here, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, have been flowering also, which is really good news. So I'm keeping this in the original pot. Once this has actually stopped flowering, I'm actually going to take this out of this pot because it's way too big of a pot for what it, what it really needs and pot this up into a smaller pot. And say so this is the original part of the plant. These are cuttings. Now, the cuttings I took probably about two months ago and I've been rooting them in rainwater because I say the base of the plant was, was literally just breaking away and if I'd have left it, the plant, the rot would have spread up to the whole plant so it was really rescued. I rescued this just at the right time, guys. And I put the, put the cuttings in rainwater and they're very, very, very successfully rooted, all of the cuttings, except for these are just recently I took, this is part of this original plant that wasn't doing too well. I recently took cuttings. So there's no roots on these yet. They've only been in there a week, but they will root. This is all the rest of it that I've been rooting for a couple of months. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that well there, tons and tons of roots there in the, in the water, in the rainwater, which is very good. So these are actually ready to pot up now, and I'm going to be doing that now. I just want to show you what they look like and what I'm going to be doing because I was originally going to put all of the, all of the parts into and keep it all together as a plan but I'm going to pot them up probably into individual pots and the reason for that is extra plants I can gift away or if certain plants don't do too well I've got extras I think it's going to be easier to do it that way and this is what I'm going to be doing in this video this is the update on it and now I'm going to be potting them up and what I'm going to be doing is say is getting the plant pots. I've already got a soil mix already made <coughs> to pot these up in. And normally with cacti, I would use a bit of loam-based soil with a bit of horticultural sand and extra grit or perlite. But in this case, I'm actually going to use more of a peat based soil because Ripsalidopsis um, is part of the epiphytic cactus, rainforest cactus family. And they like more humus in the soil. They like to be kept more wetter and hold a lot more moisture than the desert cacti do. So I'm going to be adding a little bit, well, I have added a little bit more peat into the soil mix. And I've got 30% peat, 40% um, um, loam, and then I've got a bit of extra horticultural sand, a little bit of perlite, a bit of grit thrown in, a bit of a mixture. But as I say, I've added extra peat to this. And um, the peat I use is from places up that is not harming the environment here. So because peat is not that environmentally friendly. Don't particularly like using it, but there's times you have to use it on certain plants. And I find 
over the years my epiphytes prefer a bit more peat added to the soil as well as a bit of loam so that's that's just what i was a bit but the most important thing is use a well draining soil mix that's the most important thing and um that's them all there and now i'm going to start potting them up and show you what i'm going to be doing guys now there you go guys i've got hansi behind the camera filming me at the moment so do go over and give my wonderful fiance hans a big thumbs up and go and subscribe to his amazing youtube channel family of cactusy and other beauties links up above so it's great i got my hands free now guys and Thank i've got the darling. five pots ready <clears throat> and what i've done as i say the soil mix i've made up a bit of a mixture of loam peat and a bit of extra grit in here and a bit of sand well draining soil mix the um, epiphyllums, uh, sorry, the epiphytic cacti, such as Rupsalidopsis, do like more, more humidity and moisture in the soil. And uh, <coughs> that's them all there, all with their little roots, as they've been rooting in rainwater the past few weeks. Very successful. And I'm going to go, got pots all around the same size here. And the soil mix already a little bit at the bottom. And now I'm going to start potting up. Now I'm not going to show you potting up all of them because it's going to be a very long video. So I'm just going to show you the very first one I do and then I'm going to show you what they all look like when they're all potted up. So let's go ahead first of all, I'll pick the biggest one there and look at them lovely juicy, juicy roots. And um, <laughs> it's important when you've got roots, roots that are formed in water are usually a little bit more fragile than roots that are formed in soil. So you have to be very careful. So very gently here, placing that into there putting the soil just around it. In fact, I'll use the other, the other pot just to put that into there. You have to be very, very careful and um, very just lightly move it around so all the, all of the, um, the roots are covered. And you don't want to, the biggest mistake, especially when you have got very fine roots, is to go pushing it in now at this stage. So this very, very, very gently pressing down with my, with my finger there, just so it's very lightly. Um, there and then tap the pot just so the soil goes all around the bottom there so it's making sure it's there's no little air pockets there you want air in the soil but not air pockets where it's going to literally just fall out the pot again it's a little bit top heavy and uh, gently pressing there and that's the first one done there and maybe a little bit more soil just around it and, uh, that's it there you go that's the first one and just put a pad that now rib solidopsis do prefer a little bit more shade than um, desert cacti do so they're going to be going back up into my office while they're still in the rooting stage and then put this up again here bit at the bottom and um, that's it i'm going to show you the next one oh thank you hansi <laughs> i'm going to show you just doing the next one and then i'll show you what everything looks like after it's all done so it's not too long Look at them mega roots. And as I say, I wouldn't normally recommend rooting cacti in water, but with epiphytic cacti, such as Ripsalidopsis, commonly known as the Easter cacti, or Slumbergera, commonly known as Christmas cacti, and Epiphyllum cacti, they do root, root pretty well from cuttings in water. But that's another story again. <laughs> we just deal with this at the moment. And uh, there you go, again, gently placing that very carefully on there roots are still in the fragile stage so just going to be tipping that in all around like there gently tapping and to make sure them roots are covered and also the big part of the stem in there tap 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 and that's it and that's the first two done nice in the little pots so happy that this cactus um, has made a brilliant recovery because it was so if you could have seen it in the beginning it was so what was it like Hanzo? it was just shriveled up prune mm. it really was yeah and, recovered um, good 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 yeah. oh it's amazing so that's the second one and what i'm going to do then guys carry on now i'm going to show you what it all looks like when they're all potted up now guys that's the last one done all potted up here and um what I've done is I've decided to put, there's about oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five pots here, all potted up and um, very good. Mm. I'm going to be watering these straight away now because obviously they're epiphytic cacti. They've already got roots. It's like little, after the party. Yeah, after empty the party. Glasses, empty all glasses. the mess. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. And um, I'm very, very happy to see this plant. That was one big plant. 
very dehydrated now a lot of different ones and i've still got the mother plant upstairs in flower which is really wonderful so i hope you enjoyed the update and the little repotting video there guys and thank you all so much for your support and if you want to know a bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents do check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com go over to the growing tips hover your mouse over the growing tips and drop down bar lots of different sections on how to basic um, how to care for your cacti and succulents and stay tuned for future um, ebook i'm going to well i'm writing at the moment it's going to be coming out hopefully in the next few months on how to care for cacti and succulents and guys big thumbs up to hansi for filming <laughs> i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from across the emerald isle and until the next video bye bye for the little rescues <laughs>